Hi, my name is Inzu. I'm a graduate student in New Ohio State University. I'm here to discuss my recent paper with David Weinberg, in which we modeled galaxy info onto clusters in both the Millennium Simulation and Sloan. As the largest bound systems in the universe, galaxy clusters carry imprints of cosmic growth via the distribution and motion of their surrounding galaxies. They can therefore play a powerful role in testing theories for the origin of cosmic acceleration, complementing geometrical probes like the supernovae and baryonic oscillations. The redshift space cluster galaxy cross-correlation function CGS, is a comprehensive characterization of the statistical relation between clusters and galaxies, influenced by both the real space cross-correlation and the peculiar velocities induced by the cluster gravitational potential. To highlight the kinematical features, here we divide Xi CGS by the projected cluster galaxy cross correlation function WP at each projective separation. Since WP is the integration of Xi CGS along the line of sight, now the contours basically illustrate the compactness of a galaxy line of sight distribution around clusters, which peaks around projective separation of a 2 H inverse megaparsec because of strong galaxy info. To model Xi CGS, we need to understand the average galaxy info kinematics around clusters. This animation shows a joint probability distribution of radial and tangential velocity of galaxies as a function of a cluster-centric radius from 40 to 0 H inverse megaparsecs. These four snapshots represent four distinctive regimes of galaxy info around clusters. Top panels show the simulation measurements, and bottom ones are our best fit models. Clearly, on small scales, the galaxy kinematics can be resolved into two components, one virilized and one radial info. And on large scales, there is just a single radial info component. The info component at each radius can be well described by a 2D skewed T distribution, parameterized by characteristic info velocity, radial and tangential dispersions, and two skewness and ketosis parameters that are insensitive to halo mass. The virilized component at small scales can be described by a 2D Gaussian with zero mean and equal dispersions in the two axes. The most important parameter of our kinematics model is the characteristic infall velocity as a function of radius, as it's directly related to the extended cluster mass profile. This figure shows the infall velocity profiles of simulated clusters with six different masses. Here shows the galaxy line of sight velocity distribution at different positions away from the cluster center, indicated by a red dot inside the yellow quadrant in each panel. Blue curves are the simulation measurements, and black curves are the predictions from our model. The level of agreement between the two is highly non-trivial, because the varying degrees of skewness and ketosis require accurate description of the entire galaxy velocity distribution. Simple Gaussian streaming models are not adequate. After convolved with the real space cluster galaxy cross correlation function, the model predicts Xi CGS agrees very well with the simulation measurements. We have done numerous tests and discovered that the measurement of Xi CGS alone is sufficient to allow inference of the characteristic info velocity using our galaxy kinematics model. As a proof of concept, we applied the model to Xi CGS measured for two samples of Sloan groups being by their BCG stellar mass estimates. The colored bands show the inferred characteristic infall velocities for the two beams of Sloan clusters. Red is higher mass beam and green is lower. The dashed curve shows the expected infall velocity profile for 10 to 14 solar mass clusters in the simulation. We can see that the highest stellar mass beam corresponds to roughly clusters of this mass scale. The dashed contours here show the predicted Xi CGS from our best fit kinematics model for the highest stellar mass beam clusters and agrees with the measurements very well. We plan to investigate the impact of galaxy formation physics and derive cosmologic constraints using this galaxy info kinematics model in the future. So please stay tuned. And for more details on the analysis and the result, please check out our paper on astroph. Thank you.